Selecting your machine in Hatch can help you make sure you create designs that your machine can actually sell. I'm Linda Goodall. Open Hatch and click on the background to make sure nothing is selected. Then you can pick your machine from the drop down list. Now currently I have selected the Brother and Nova series. This is my small brother machine. And if I look at the hoop selected, I can see that I have these choices available. This will make sure that I don't actually pick something that's too big for my 100 by 100 hoop. But I also have a Baby Lock Alissimo. And if I pick that one, I can see that I have much larger selection of hoops available. Now suppose I get a machine that's not on this list. What do I do then? Or maybe I get a new hoop. Well, to do either one of those things, I'm going to right click on the hoop icon on the toolbar, make sure I have machine and hoop selected. I'm going to click on create, and I do have an SWF. I'm going to add that in here, and I'm going to add some hoops. This is a multi-needle machine, so I'll just tell it it's multi-needle. And now I can add some hoops. Now if there's some hoops that are already created that I know that work with my machine, I can just select it in the list and pop it over and click OK. If I need to create a new hoop, I'll click on the Create Hoop button, and then I can select a shape. Now I'm going to do a round one this time, but notice that rectangle is the pre-selected one. It's probably the most common shape, especially for home machines. And down here we have to specify a width and a height. But I'm going to pick round or circle, and I'm going to tell it that this is a round 120 millimeter hoop. That's the name of my hoop. And I just have to give it a dimension. But I'm going to tell it it's 100 millimeters because with this particular machine, the hoop size listed on the hoop is actually the dimensions of the hoop, not the area that you can actually sew. So you need to be aware that we're not measuring the hoop itself. We're measuring the area that can be sewn. And your manual will have those dimensions. So I'll click on Save Hoop, and there it is listed. Now one more thing I should warn you about, we need to enter hoop sizes in millimeters and not inches. So make sure that you know the dimensions of your hoop, and once again, it will be in your documentation. I can enter as many hoops as I want at this time, and when I'm done, I'll just click OK. Now I have SWF selected, my 120 hoop selected, and my design does not fit in there, so I might need to go to that square hoop that I added in. So I think you can see how easy it is to set your machine in Hatch and pick your hoops and even add a new machine and add new hoops if you need to.